Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've talked with you, but I am here on Sunday evening to share a grocery haul. Thank you for uh, letting me take a week's break after Vlogmas. I'm always just like tiny bit burnout after Vlogmas, even though it's super fun. Uh, it's, it's kind of exhausting with everything I else everything else I do to post a video every day. Um, so anyway, thank you for letting me take a break, but we're gonna be back this week with more videos. I'm hoping to have a video out every single day this week, so stay tuned for that. It was also kind of good to have this week off of <laughs> doing a lot of YouTube stuff because it was my first week back at work after the holidays and so there was a ton to do and catch up on so that was good also. But today I am back with a grocery haul. I did film this grocery haul last weekend, but I went to Hy-Vee and I also went to Walmart. Um, I will share my meal plan at the end, but I also did not really stick with my meal plan a whole lot, so I'm gonna have to go and see what I actually got. But let's get into the haul. I'll share with you what I got and then we'll come back here and I'll share with you the meal plan. So I'm done in the store and yeah, I'm glad I went to Hy-Vee because I, so I'm looking at my receipt and they do what's called a fuel saver so depending on what you buy you can get a percentage or like number of cents off of each gallon of gas that you buy at hy gas station and no this is not a hy advertisement although i wish they would sponsor me no i'm just kidding <laughs> but um anyway i am currently getting gas for nine cents a gallon because with this grocery trip i got a 50 cent fuel saver a 40 cent fuel saver I'm sorry, I got a 50 cent fuel saver, a 60 cent fuel saver, and a three cent fuel saver. And then I also bought something that had a penny and I already had a dollar 14, or no, I must have had some in my account. Anyway, so I ended up with 246 off each gallon of gas. Well, gas is 214 right now. And apparently there's some regulation where they can't give you totally free gas, so you have to pay something. So I just filled up my tank for, Oh my God, 12 cents. I guess it was 0.09 per gallon. So I just filled up my tank for 12 cents, 13 gallons. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so here's everything that I got from Hy-Vee and Walmart. Uh, I did get some more cheese. This will be for sandwiches this week, um, for mostly for the kids at lunches probably. And then I needed some mozzarella cheese for a recipe. Um, I will share the meal plan that I made uh, a little bit later with you guys, but I needed some shredded mozzarella for a recipe that I'm gonna make. So I just decided to get the pre-shredded to make it easier. Um, I picked up some of the Deluso honey turkey breast. Um, that's one of Kira's like staple snacks is deli turkey meat. So I got that for um, anyone who wants a sandwich, but she'll probably have it in her wraps for school lunches. And then I also got some pre-cooked bacon just to have in the fridge for quick breakfast if we need it this week. Um, I was going to get an English cucumber, but they were all out, so I went ahead and got the regular one. I did get four pears, one avocado. I got one yellow bell pepper. I grabbed some grapes for the kids to snack on. Some bananas, which are always a staple. Um, I normally get the sharp cheddar cheese sticks, but they were out of those, so I went ahead and got these um, extra sharp cheddar uh, for snacks and lunches. And then I also grabbed a half gallon of 2% milk. We don't go through milk very fast, and so it's easier for me to keep the half gallon in my fridge because it, it takes up less space. Um, I think there was a recipe that called for a little bit of cream. I couldn't remember actually why I needed this when I was at the grocery store, but it was on my list, so I went ahead and picked that up. Um, I they were I, I could not find any of the generic uh, heavy cream in stock, so I just went ahead and got the name brand Organic Valley. Um, I got some more bologna for sandwiches. The eggs I ended up getting for 79 cents um, with the Hy-Vee Plus membership. They had a dollar off a dozen eggs so I got these for 79 cents I got some tomatoes we just used a few of these for sandwiches tonight I got some sour cream um, I am gonna make butter chicken this week I think and the recipe for the chicken you can either marinate the chicken in sour cream or 
um, plain Greek yogurt along with the spices and that's kind of what tenderizes it so I grabbed that I got two cans of petite diced tomatoes I was running low on these in the pantry so grab those these were on sale for like 69 cents I think um, and then I grabbed the kids two cans of um, beefaroni these were on sale for a dollar each I think um, I got some cream cheese I don't necessarily have a plan for this but I always like to keep one in the fridge um, just in case I need it for like baking or a recipe or something they had the tribe hummus buy one get one free and i don't think i've ever tried this brand before so i got there it's kind of picked over they didn't have many flavors left so i got one of the everything hummus and one of the buffalo style hummus um so i'm looking forward to trying that i've never tried that flavor before um okay so i have not bought a roast at the grocery store for probably years <laughs> we always get a a quarter or a half of a beef um, there's a local farmer that we get it from and so I never have to buy beef at the grocery store we get like when we do that we get like roasts and burgers and steaks and short ribs and all kinds of stuff so I, I kind of had a little bit of sticker shock because this is $6.49 a pound and the other thing too is that they had it in these like small packages like this is not a very big roast I mean it's one and a half pounds so i don't know i ended up getting two so it ended up costing me like 17 dollars but it's like what are you gonna do i want to make italian beef um tomorrow for dinner and when i make that i always like to have leftovers because it makes good leftovers so that's why i got two packages but yeah i had some sticker shock <laughs> sticker shock there we are out of roasts from that cow but we still have burger and steaks left so we still have some more to get through um i got some chobani flips for the kids to take in their lunches this week two of the or i'm sorry one s'more s'more one cookie dough oh another s'mores and then a lemon meringue pie and then i got this for myself to try um i do like the noosa yogurt but i've never tried this kind before it's a greek yogurt it says it's new so i'll try that out I got two of these pepperoni pizza wraps. Um, the kids like to take those in their lunches once in a while. They had um, these small cans of cinnamon rolls on sale for a dollar each. This was the very last one <laughs> that they had, so I went ahead and picked that up just because I thought it would be a quick, you know, before school breakfast for the kids. Um, and then I also got some blue cheese. Um, I have some, watch, well, I can show you. I have some of this buffalo vinaigrette from I actually got this from thrive market so they have it on their site um if you guys want to get it i always have a code in my um, description box but it's really good and i had it once with a salad with blue cheese and chicken and it was the bomb so i got some more blue cheese for that um, i did also get some sugar-free pudding for the kids i always get the sugar-free jello pudding because i feel like they can't tell like they never complain about it or anything um, and it's obviously got less sugar and calories in it so this is the chocolate and vanilla swirls um, I also got some Velveeta bites um, Kira's not a huge breakfast eater but I always feel weird sending her to school without anything so sometimes I'll get stuff like this that she can like put in her bag um, so she can eat it like when she's at the bus stop or on the way to school or something like that just so she's not starving by lunchtime um, and these are good I've I, I haven't bought these actually for a long time but I like all the flavors but I went ahead and got the chocolate ones for them and then I needed more baking soda this isn't gonna be for cooking I actually use it for um, cleaning and stuff like that around the house so I needed more of that um, I did end up getting the cheesecake M&Ms just because I want to try them. <laughs> and I thought they sounded interesting, so I got those. And then I also got some sugar-free peppermint patties and some sugar-free jelly bellies, which those are new to me. I didn't realize they had those. Okay, and then I also got some bread, which is good. I wasn't going to get it, and then I thought, well, I'll get it, and if we're not going to eat it, I can throw it in the freezer. But we ended up eating the last of the loaf we had tonight with our BLTs, so I'm glad that I grabbed that. Also, sometimes I get questions about my ring, why I put it on this finger. Um, it's because I obviously normally wear it on my ring finger, but I lost weight a few years back and I never got it resized. So that's why. 
People ask me about that all the time. It's funny. Uh, okay, so I got some Bang for Adam. This is the Blue Raz. They still have these four packs on sale for $6.99, which is a pretty good deal. So I grabbed that at Hy-Vee. Um, they were like picked over on the diet soda. So I ended up getting a Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Um, I'm not actually sure how this is different than Diet Mountain Dew. I think it might be sweetened with Splenda or something different. I'm not sure. But anyway, we've had it before and it's good. So I got that. Um, I also got some Gatorade Zero. This is the Glacier Cherry, so grab that. They had these egg noodles on sale for a dollar a package, so I just went ahead and grabbed two. This is something that makes a really easy side dish. If you don't know what to make for dinner, just like make a protein and then do some buttered egg noodles on the side. <laughs> Kids love it. So I got two bags of those. Um, I grabbed these hash brown patties. I don't buy these often, but I thought they would be something easy to throw in the air fryer for breakfast. Um, I don't think I've ever cooked them in the air fryer before, but I'm assuming that they'll be good like that. So I got those. And then they had these pizzas on sale at Hy-Vee for $3. This is a thin crust Italian sausage pizza. So I'll put that in the freezer. I figured it could be a quick lunch during the week if I need something um, quick and I don't have time to make anything. Okay, and then I'm excited to try this. My Hy-Vee has this um, Polar Seltzer Aid. They have a bunch of different flavors. I tried like a, I think it was a mango limeade one before that was really, really good. Um, and so I wanted to try this one. This one is cherry limeade. And then I also got some of the AHA sparkling water and strawberry cucumber. I was totally out of um, sparkling water, so I needed to replenish. And then I also got, we were actually all out of beverages. That's why I have, <laughs> that's why I have so many. Um, so I got some Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. That's my favorite. I actually have a fridge upstairs in my office now so I can load that with some water and some diet soda for the week. Um, and then I got two of these 12 packs from Walmart, the Clear American Sparkling Water. It's got zero sugar, one mandarin orange and one cherry limeade. Um, I got Murphy some like jerky chews. These are non-rawhide. He's all out of those kind of treats. So I grabbed those for him. Okay, so I got this um, shave cream for Kira and I. It's EOS. I've never tried this kind before. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's good or not, but I figured we would try it. It was um, pretty inexpensive at Walmart and it says it's vanilla scented. So I grabbed two of those. Um, and I also grabbed her some more razors um the venus ones are the ones i get her and then i got some spoons um, i like to keep plastic spoons on hand just because it's super easy to throw um, in the kids lunch like with their applesauce or pudding and i don't have to worry about <laughs> you know them losing a spoon or throwing it in the trash at school um, i got a couple different cotton rounds uh, for Kira and I, I, I got her the smaller ones. I prefer the large ones. Um, if they have them, sometimes these are hard to find at my Walmart, but you know, she's wearing eye makeup and stuff. Now she wears mascara and stuff like that. So, um, actually for Christmas, I got her like a Clinique gift set that had the eye makeup remover in it. So I just want to make sure she had enough of those. And then I did also get some more neosporin i don't know i feel like every time we need this i can't find a tube of it so <laughs> i was in that aisle and i just picked that up just to have it on hand um and then i haven't purchased these in a while but these are like hair masks that you can get at walmart they're in these little individual envelopes and usually i can get two uses out of this uh, but they work really well this one is for damaged hair and i haven't done a hair mask in a while so i'll probably do that tonight um, I grabbed these friction highlighters. I didn't really care that they were erasable, although they are. Um, I was just looking for some highlighters that were more pastel colors rather than neon colors. I have some mild liners, um, but I thought I would pick these up. I'll actually see if Kira wants some because there's eight in there and I don't really need all of those. So I'll see if she wants some. Um, I also got a calculator to have on my desk, which probably seems pretty archaic, but sometimes I prefer to um, use this rather than the calculator on my computer. I know, I'm weird. 
Um, I got these dividers for um, one of my binders. These actually have, I think it's kind of cool because you can print out the index on the top sheet here and then they have these tabs down the side, 12 of them. So I thought that would be um, good to organize some of my free ring binders, which I have a ton of with various things in them. And then I also got some printer paper. This is in the 28 pound. I wanted to get a heavier weight in case I wanted to print anything out for uh, my planner. I prefer to have the heavier weight paper rather than just the 20 pound um, copy paper, which is what we normally have here. And then I was super happy to find that they still had these storage bins in stock. So these are only four something. I think they're like 428 or something like that. But these are a good size. Um, I actually have been keeping them in my pantry. They work really well on my shelves. So I went ahead and picked those up, four of them. And um, if I don't use them in my pantry, I'll probably use them upstairs in my office. So that is everything that I got at the store. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. Okay, so I'll just tell you really quick what we ended up having for dinner. Um, on Sunday night, I ended up making BLTs and fries, which was something quick after I got home from the store, which is what I needed. And then Monday night, I ended up putting a roast in the crock pot and doing like Italian beef, so like with the pepperoncini and stuff like that. Tuesday, I did um, like a chicken with um, baked potatoes and some veggies, and I also made some cucumber sandwiches. Um, Wednesday, I feel like we ate leftovers Wednesday, or maybe we got Subway, I can't remember. Um, and then Thursday, I made like um, an Italian like gnocchi with, it was like baked in the oven with mozzarella cheese. Um, Adam and I really liked it, the kids didn't like it, go figure. And then um, Friday night, we had pizza. Um, Last night, I can't remember what we had, but the things that I had written down on my meal plan were goulash, spaghetti pizza, and butter chicken, none of which I made. Oh, I know, last night was Adam's birthday and we had cheeseburgers and onion rings because that's what he wanted. So anyway, I didn't totally follow my meal plan, but I, I think we really only ate out one of those nights that we weren't supposed to. Um, so really not that bad. I just, sometimes you make a meal plan and you just don't end up wanting the stuff that you planned and that's okay, right? I made it work with other things I had on hand. So anyway, thanks for watching tonight's video. Uh, come back tomorrow for another video. I think the video I'm posting tomorrow is a uh, weekend prep from last weekend. So I'll see you then. Bye.